In today's video, we're gonna talk about the stats, every single little thing that you need to know about this game to succeed in the game. Let me tell you, this is very important for you, because the game has some very difficult spikes and some boss fights. <laughs> Those humbling boss fights that we learn to, to love and hate on souls like Soulsborns and what have you. So... It is very important for you to understand the stats that you are going to be allocating as you level up, especially if you're a new player. If you're seeing this in Game Pass, you want to learn about the mechanics of souls and such things like that. You can mess up your character real bad and you're not going to have access to respec your character until later on in the game. And there are so many things that I have seen people uh, while watching my daily content that they are making these little mistakes that I know that uh, some of some of players, new players might not be aware of them. And some of misinformation that relies around there about scaling weapons because that is very important as well. So we're going to be tackling all of that right now. The first and foremost thing that we're going to have right here is going to be vitality. And let me just round up these little three stats that we have right here vitality vigor capacity those guys are going to be important for every single character regardless of builds the one is that is going to alter the playstyle weapons and things that you are going to use is going to be motivity technique in advance vitality is just that basic thing vitality is just health bigger is going to be your stamina how much stamina can you have but oh boy what do you know capacity indirectly is going to be altering bigger as well because the capacity and the carry weight is going to determine whether are you going to have some things or not so as you can see right here we have this little number which is weights there's thresholds that you have in weights if you go beyond those thresholds something that is going to happen and that bad that is going to happen is that your stamina is going to regenerate slower and this has to be happening in a loop especially if you're fighting against a boss fight but redundance but the loop the gameplay loop is basically you attack you defend you block you dodge and what have you but what happens if you have just uh, if you have like not managed this thing right here so let me give you this example right here as you can see i have now passed the 60 percent threshold which is going to be one of the threshold the 60 percent now i am slightly heavy this means that uh, my rolls are not going to be as effective my stamina is going to take longer to replenish and if you're not minding about this thing which is something that the game does not tell you you could be using this thing wrong you might be wondering why do i not have that much stamina why am i struggling so much why is this game draining my stamina that much that's probably because you're not managing your capacity and weight and that is going to make that you're not going to be combat efficient how can I manage that? Well, simply put, unequipping weapons. That's going to be one of the things. One more thing, the defense parts that you have right here, as you can see, they have a weight. Depending on the weight that they have, you can be managing this thing right here. So if I, for example, did want to have a little bit of an extra weapon right here, but I'm just too heavy, then I can just change my defense parts to have this thing. And ideally, the most, uh, the faster one is going to be the, the better, uh, being able to be under 29%. That is going to be the, the ideal thing. But this guy that you see right here, this is what's considered mid-rolling in Souls Likes, which is just basically the all times purpose to be able to block effectively, to have a strong defense, and also to have a strong defense when it comes to dodging and man managing stamina. So you should always be mindful about getting this thing. If you want to be using heavy weapons, then what are you going to be using? If you want to be using beefy, boinky weapons, then you're going to be uh, placing points into capacity. And then finally, motivity, technique, advance, those are the stats that are going to increase the damage, the native damage of our weapon, depending on the scaling that that weapon has. And uh, strangely enough, it is not going to be that different, uh, it's not going to be as convol convoluted as you have in Souls Likes, for example, because you have intelligence, fate, strength, dexterity, things like that and what have you, to be able to focus on magic and things like that. 
Now, there is still some sort of that like life here, like the motivity is going to be focused mainly, most of the cases is going to be for heavy weapons, technique, mostly most of the cases is going to be for uh, dexterous weapons that you would see like nimble and agile weapons. And then advanced, that is going to focus on weapons that have elements on them. Most of the times that's usually how you can go see things go through. Like this one right here, the Great Sword of the Fate Blade, you see that this has a V scaling on motivity, which also has a C scaling on technique. If we compare this thing, for example, with the uh, Wintry Rapier's Blade, this is going to be focused on technique. So this seems to be more of a nimble weapon, but you also have the quality builds, and this is like a mixture of in-between damage between motiv motivity and technique. Uh, and you can also alter the weapon handles to change the the attributes that they are going to scale from. But uh, we'll get to that a little bit later on uh, into that because that actually does need a little bit of clarification as well. That said, they are also going to alter our Legion arm. So this is a very important part of your builds and how you're going to craft your character because uh, even if uh, there's, a, I, I have seen a lot of people that not think that Legion arms are actually that amazing. They are, you know, they have saved me from so many situations. I have cheesed so many boss fights thanks to how amazing these guys are. But you should be building them properly as well. So this one right here, the basic one, this is going to be for a quality build. So as you can see, the more points you allocate into motivity and technique, the more physical attack that you're going to have right here. You're going to get new Legion arms arms later on as you level up as you explore but you also have for example the puppet string right here which is a puppet uh, arm a legion arm that should be focusing on bills uh, dexterous bills that are going to be using again dexterous weapons with technique as a main scaling stats later on you are going to take uh, you're going to have access to more legion arms that are going to be focusing again on elements like fire electricity things like that those are going to be mo mainly focusing on the advanced stat right here but the, the looks of the things shouldn't be the primary focus of everything. The primary focus should be just these letters that you have right here, regard, depending on the, the highest number, the, the highest letter, the, the highest scaling that you have right here. This is where you're going to be placing your points. Talking about scaling, this is one of the most interesting and important parts about it all because you have different things that you can change from weapons and there's a whole bunch of misconception out there. The thing is that you can also alter the weapon scaling to do different things. But the thing is that there's quite a whole of misconception right here because a lot of people is going to think, think that uh, if you add motivity, uh, just uh, scaling to a weapon that is going to be just more than enough to make it viable or technique if you're a technique build or advanced for an advanced build. That is not how it works, right? That is not how it works. The weapons already have a predetermined scale and you're just going to be upgrading that scaling. Granted, I am not saying that, for example, if you see a motivity weapon, you are a technique build, you see this weapon that has motivity. I'm not saying that if you really, really, really want to try that weapon, you can most certainly add a technique scaling to this weapon to just try it. But just have in mind that these games are very mean maxi. They are very, very mean maxi. There's going to be several difficulty boss fights that are going to humble you so hard. It has happened to me. And you ideally want to be min maxing in this game so for example to this weapon you want to add a motivity uh, scaling to increase that v motivity to a higher value this one right here i would like to add a technique uh, scaling to this thing to add a higher value on this thing i can add either off either off is going to be fine because this is a quality build but uh, a one that is going to increase the quality is just going to be better so let's alter the handle of the weapon to see how about that scaling. So for example, right here, we have the great sword of the fate handle. This is going to be to affect the handle, not the blade. But at the, end of the, at the end of the day, the handle is the one that is going to give you the scaling. So if I add a motivity handle right here, it's going to increase my scaling for my motivity to A, meaning more damage whenever I put more points into that scaling right there. But if I want to add, if I really, really really want to use this weapon really bad with my uh, with my technique build for example I just want to try it 
Yes, it is going to give me AC. It is going to be something that I might be able to use. But at the end of the day, it's just a better idea to take this one right here, which already has a B scaling as a base. And then I add a Technique 1 to in increase that 1 to plus A. And then we have the Advance. And there are also Advanced Weapons. Usually they are going to be Elemental Weapons. There's a Dagger that you can get early on in the game. That is a Fire dag Dagger. That is how you should be managing this thing. And this is just the basics of everything. Like I said, if you really want to really try something, you can. But ideally, you want to be mean maxing about this stuff. Because it's a very hard, it's a very hard game. <laughs> That is basically the basics and the ultimate things that you need to know to start crafting your character. And like I said, it is very important. There is respect in this game, but it takes quite a while for you to get respect. And as a matter of fact, I fought some bosses that are really, really difficult to get to that point. And I was doing so with a min max character that was focusing on the main things that I was telling you about, de dealing the highest amount of damage possible with the highest amount of things, and it is still hard. <laughs> you better craft your character properly before venturing out there. Uh, anyways, if you like the content, like and the super appreciate it. And also, you today, that you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful person. I will be seeing you, goddamn gorgeous and beautiful people, in the next one. Have a beautiful day and goodbye. Just watch your step when we dance when we